Now introducing the leader of the Green Party of Ontario, Mike Schreiner. Thanks everyone for uh, joining us today. It's a great day to be in Waterloo. And um, I just wanna say I ordered up the sunshine this morning, eh? It feels good. <laughs> I'm also just so excited to be joined uh, by local candidate for Waterloo for the Ontario Green Party, Shafaza Esmael. Hey. And our Ontario Green candidate for Kitchener Center, Wayne Mack. <laughs> I'd also like to acknowledge that we're meeting on the traditional lands of the Neutrals, the Anishinaabe, and the Haudenosaunee peoples. And would like to acknowledge that these lands are covered under the Upper Canada and Haldeman Tract treaties and to commit to upholding and adhering to treaties. I'd also like to acknowledge that today is National Day of Awareness for Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls. I would like to challenge all of us to commit to the 231 calls to action in the National Inquiry into Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls. I'd also like to acknowledge the great grass work, grassroots work that is being done by the Moosehide campaign to combat violence against indigenous women and girls. And we know that stable and safe, affordable housing is critically important part of those calls to action. It is clear that we are facing a housing affordability crisis in Ontario. And unfortunately, it's only getting worse Successive Ontario governments led by the old line parties have failed to address this, price, this crisis. And it's getting harder and harder for people in Ontario to find an affordable place to call home in the community they love near where they wanna work. The Ontario Greens have a vision for an Ontario where you can have an affordable place to call home in the community you love Ontario Greens believe that regardless of the color of your skin, your income level, whether or not you have a disability, you should be able to find an affordable place to call home, the community you love, near where you work. In this campaign, the Ontario Greens are offering real solutions to old problems. And that's why I am so proud today to announce that the Ontario Greens are committed to building 160,000 affordable community rental homes in this province in, <laughs> in partnership with co-op and nonprofit housing providers that would include 60,000 permanent supportive housing spaces with wraparound mental health addictions and other supports. And Absolutely. And 22,000 Indigenous led, Indigenous owned housing solutions. You know, I recently read a report that the wait time to access community housing in Waterloo is 7.9 years. This is completely unacceptable, especially when you consider that housing is a human right. And for far too long, too many Ontario governments led by the old parties have failed to deliver on this right. And that's exactly why the Ontario Greens are putting forward real solutions to the housing crisis. Because everybody in this province deserves to have an affordable place to call home. You know, this problem really started getting worse in the mid 1990s when both the provincial and federal levels of government stopped supporting nonprofit and co-op housing providers. And it's just gotten worse under both liberal and conservative governments. And that's exactly why we need more green MPPs at Queens Park leading the way on housing solutions. Yes, yes. 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 
Derek King. Last June, the Ontario Greens released a housing affordability strategy that's leading the way. As a matter of fact, we're leading the way so much that the NDP had to go back and revise their housing plan to match our numbers. That's exactly why we need more green MPPs to continue leading the charge at Queen's Park, delivering the solutions that the people of this province need. And so let's be clear, without government action now, without more green MPPs delivering the solutions we need, we are gonna to continue to face this crisis. And so I'm asking everyone in this election, I'm challenging you that you have a choice. You can vote for a party to build the Ontario you want. Green MPPs that are providing the leadership we need to address the housing affordability crisis. On June 2nd, you can choose the Ontario you want. And I wanna be clear that the Ontario Greens are ready to provide the leadership we need. I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you. We'll now go to any questions from the floor. Hi, uh, this is Chris from CTV Kitchener. Um, a few weeks ago, uh, Prime Minister Trudeau was in Waterloo Region making a housing announcement of his own. I know it's a lot different than uh, what you're talking about right now, but there was a question he was asked uh, that I thought was really poignant. I'd like to ask you. Uh, what would you say to uh, a young person, maybe just out of university college, um, who might be living with um, either a parent or guardian, or might think that the possibility of um, one day owning a house or even renting a reasonable house is completely out of out of their ballpark and not possible? Yeah, well, first of all, I'd say I, I speak to that young person. My daughter just graduated from the University uh, Laurier. <laughs> and um, like so many uh, other young people her age, she's wondering if she'll ever be able to afford to own a home. And that's exactly why a year ago, the Ontario Greens put forward what the largest circulation paper in Canada called a master class plan in delivering housing affordability solutions. We will crack down on rampant speculation in the housing market, particularly to give first time home buyers a level playing field to be able to own a home because we believe housing should be for people not speculators secondly we will we will bring in zoning changes that will make it easier for missing middle and gentle gentle density housing to be built making duplexes triplexes and quadplexes as of right making it easier to build laneway housing, tiny homes and secondary suites within our existing built spaces. So we don't have to pave over the farmlands that feed us in the wetlands that um, protect our drinking water and protect us from flooding. As a matter of fact, I was just recently in Kitchener and I visited a home that was a single family home that had been converted into a duplex with a tiny home built right next to it, providing housing not for one family anymore, but for three families. Those are the kinds of solutions we need. And finally, we need the solution that the Ontario Greens have put on the table today, a firm commitment that's costed out. We have a fully costed housing strategy of how we will build 160,000 community built rental affordable homes in this province. It's going to take that kind of bold action to address the housing crisis. And unfortunately, the tweaks to the system or the half measures, or in the case of the Ford government, measures that likely will take us backwards will not provide the solutions we need. So my daughter and others of her generation will be able to find a, a home that they can afford. Any other questions from the floor? So we'll now go to the Zoom questions online. First question comes from Wyatt Sharp. Wyatt, please lower your hand and ask your question. Uh, hi, Mike. Hope you're doing well, and thanks for taking my question. Um, the Liberals and NDP seem to be engaging between uh, in you know certain messaging between each other. The NDP seems to be saying, well, if you vote for the Liberals, that'll give the Ford Conservatives another majority government. 
And then uh, the liberals are saying, well, if you vote for the NDP, that'll give the Ford conservatives another majority government. So uh, I guess I'm just wondering kind of your thoughts on that messaging and, and where, you know, the Ontario Greens um, kind of, you know, fit in between that. Well, well, first of all, the, the bickering around how you tear each other down is not going to build the kind of Ontario we want. The Ontario Greens are not about tearing down the other parties. We're about building Ontario up delivering the real solutions to old problems we need. And I'm asking people across this province and writings across this province to join the green movement, to deliver the solutions we need to build the Ontario you want. So many people have said that, you know, one green MPP is punched well above uh, our weight uh, in terms of delivering solutions to improve lives. And I'm asking for the people of Ontario to deliver a green caucus to Queen's Park, because we know that we can provide the leadership to build the Ontario that you want. And then I guess just as a quick follow up on your, you know, housing announcement today, I mean, how is it, you know, obviously, in order to, you know, win the next election, you're going to need to have, um, you know, policies that appeal to Ontarians, um, that appeal to Ontarians more than the Liberals and the NDP. How do you think that, you know, the housing platform that you've unveiled today, you know, does that? And, and do you think some of the other plans that you've unveiled are, you know, better than the other parties and to what extent? Yeah, I think the housing affordability crisis is the number one issue facing Ontarians right now. We have a whole generation of young people wondering if they'll ever be able to afford a home. We have a number, thousands of Ontarians right now who are unhoused. We have businesses struggling to find workers because they can't find housing for those workers that they can afford. And that's why the master class plan that the Ontario Greens have put out, develop, putting forward a range of solutions. We know that it isn't just one policy, it's a whole package of policies that will be needed to solve this crisis. And so I'm telling the people of Ontario, if you wanna fix the housing crisis, your only choice in this election, your best choice in this election is the Ontario Green Party. Thank you. A reminder to please use the raise hand function if you have a question. It looks like there are no more questions. Back to you, Mike. Well, thank you, everyone. And Shavaza and Wayne, it's so uh, fantastic to have you uh, join me today in Waterloo. Uh, we have a fantastic slate of candidates running and writings all across this province who are ready to lead in building the Ontario you want, delivering new solutions to old problems. And we're gonna work hard to earn your vote, not buy your vote with these election gimmicks that we're hearing from the other parties. So let's get to work, Ontario. Thank you.